you know, what made me want to become a neurologist? Um, you know, partly I wanted to get into medicine uh, because, you know, my, both my mother and my grandmother were really good examples. They were both nurses and they were wonderful uh, clinicians and uh, really, you know, taught me the value of, of helping other people, of, of the rewarding sense of, of, you know, treating someone. Um, but, you know, I also had a very strong interest in, in the brain and neuroscience. Uh, but then again, also my personal experience with my grandmother who had epilepsy. Um, you know, all of those factors kind of came together and that led me into medicine and then specifically into, into neurology. So as a neurologist, I uh, really treat a, a, a wide variety of conditions. Um, that includes things like seizures, uh, patients that have vascular issues like a stroke or a TIA, um, patients that have neuromuscular disorders, even, even things like dementia, Alzheimer's disease. So really there's, there's quite a lot what I like most about what I do is the connections that I develop with people. I think sometimes people have, have been frustrated with, with healthcare, um, and, and so what I really try to do is, is make sure that, that no one's leaving that appointment with lingering questions, confusion. I think it's really empowering for patients to be able to understand what's happening to their body, um, but also to understand why they're taking the medications they're on and why we're ordering the tests that we're ordering. The most satisfying experience for me is, is being able to make a difference and uh, seeing you know, people that, that came in you know, maybe scared of, of their condition and, and maybe not having hope for the future and being able to give that to them, I think is incredibly empowering and, and very uh, rewarding.